Good afternoon, old chaps. Do you remember the good old days of installing packages from your package manager? Well, there seems to be somebody new on the block. Roll the film. Is it still film? I think so. Roll. Nicholas back, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Right, <clears throat> it's Friday, got some time off. Now, you remember the old days, or the now days? You used to open up your simple synaptic package manager and install your packages from your repositories. Nice and simple, nice and safe, or even go this far and do it in the terminal. Yeah, in the terminal. Then came along some app stores, yeah, app stores and stuff like that, and things were motoring along quite nicely, okay. Right, some new kids on the block, guys. New kids on the block. Most of you should know about these. Some of you are probably even using them, even though you don't know it. Especially if you're using a Ubuntu-based system. Right, we'll go through a couple of you. Not going to be a long video. There for the weekend, okay? First is Snaps, or Snapcraft, okay? The idea is, there's a package that's sandboxed, okay? Sandboxed, so it can access some parts of your system, but not the really, you know, that sort of stuff. The stuff that makes things go wrong. Okay, so you can install it on Ubuntu, Debian. This is Snaps, by the way. Linux Mint, same thing. Open Embedded, Open Susan, Manjaro, Solus, Fedora. The list goes on. Here it tells you what it is. What is Snapcraft? A simple package of leveraging your existing tools. Automatic updates for everyone. So basically, when the package gets updated, this will update it for you. You won't have to worry about it. So the days of getting a PPA could be over, okay? Or not, who knows? I like some PPAs, though, personally. Okay, Snapcraft in integrates with your tools. So, Prebit Apps, C++, C, Go, Java, Node, Electron, Moose, Rust, Ruby, and Python. It's all there. And there's lots of snaps you can get. Now, this is the uh, canonical way of doing stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I've got a couple of snaps myself. If I go back to my desktop, I've got Spotify here. It's a snap. Yeah. It's a snap, yeah. It just works. The only thing I found with snaps, flat packs, and app images, mm -hmm, that's the three of them, is you have to take a little while for them to think about booting. Or, you know, just take a little while to start, okay? The next one we have is flat packs. I also have some flat packs, okay? Another way, very, very similar, but slightly different from uh, Canonical's way of doing stuff. Very, very slightly different. So you can get plenty of stuff. You get Blender, Skype, Spotify, <sighs> Gimp. Some of these things, because they come pre-installed on some Linux systems, I'm wondering if they're going the right way about it, to be honest with you. Although it's a really good idea. But then it also takes me back to the days of <clears throat> when you used to go and get an EXE file. Okay, Although this is a lot, lot, lot more secure. So flat packs and snaps are very, very similar. They just work different ways. I'm not going to go through the different ways they work. You can look at that yourself, can't you? Check it out. But there's lots of stuff you can go and get, okay? So, install apps on the Flat Hub so you can make your own flats or flat packs, whatever you want to call it, the same as you can with snaps. There's no difference whatsoever. Now, the other one is an app image. Now, I've got an app image as well, okay? The app image I've got is Etcher. It comes as an app image, installed perfectly, no problem. And when you want to, this is the thing about all these sort of things here. When you want to uninstall it, you can just do it from the command line or just delete it in some cases, so I've been told. The thing about AppImage, apparently it's not so safe, okay? Not so safe. But, on the other hand, it's a very easy way and convenient way to install st some stuff, okay? You can do it. But, would you want to? So, what do you lot think? Do you like this new form of portable package management? Is what I'm going to call it. A portable package management. Or, would you rather keep to the old repos and the old way of doing stuff? What's your way of doing this? I mean, I even installed, okay, I'll skip rid of that for you. Uh, OBS as a snap on a different system. Worked perfectly fine. No different from getting it from repos or the PPA. Okay, I just prefer the PPA personally for me. That's my personal preference, okay? 
On the other hand, would you want to get Chrome as a Snap or a Flat Pack or Firefox and Blender? Do you re really? Really? I, mean, I can see Blender's point because it gets updated quite a lot and the repos don't update very much. Okay. So if you want the current Blender that's doing all the stuff, maybe. If the maintainers keep it up at the end of the day. So what's your thoughts? Old versus new, new versus old, portable packet management, or the good old-fashioned way, command line, and synaptic. Sneaky Linux out. I see those. Bye-bye.